What's going on, wonderful people? So yesterday, Pastor preached out of, taught out of, teached out of Matthew 20. And so when he teaches, you know, the Holy Spirit speaks to me on so many different levels of stuff I can share with you. And in Matthew 20, verse 12 is something I want to share with you. But one of one of Satan's most effective strategy is to get us to focus on what we don't have or focus on what we wish we had or focus on what somebody else has. And so he does that in a manner. He does that to all children of God. Oh, I wish I was married or I wish I had a marriage like them or I wish I had a job or I wish I had money like them or I wish I had the fame or I wish I had this. I wish, 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 wish. Because one thing about it is Paul talks about being content at what he does have. And that's what we need to do. We need to be content at what we do have. Um, Matthew, um, Matthew 20 verse 12. I'm just going to kind of, you know, um, give you a summary of it. But, 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 but the laborers that was out and, and, and laboring for a long time got of, offended because the, the, the laborers that came in and only worked for an hour got the same equal pay. And, and, and what, what the, uh, farm the the landowner said to them is didn't we agree on 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 labor and and jesus christ talks so much about um being content and he talks about you know the the first being last and the last being first we're, we're actually supposed to serve each other without griping the our reward doesn't come from man our reward comes from the kingdom of god so i just want you to take note of that is that we have to be very careful at um, at what we complain about not having just as in verse 20, it says, just as son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. We're come, we, we are the image of, of, of the most heavenly father and son, Jesus Christ. We, we are to serve. Our goal is to serve and not be, and not to always want to be served. Yes. You will be served, but your focus should not be on what your needs are and what you want. Your focus should be on what someone else needs and, and wants are. So I just want to leave that with you is that please be content at where you are in life. You may not have the husband or the wife, or you may not have the, the marriage or the relationship the other person has or had. Your children may not be, you know, uh, scholars or college or, or uh, athletes like the other person but you have healthy children they're 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 blessed they're they're godly children they're they're good citizens of um this world and will be good citizens of the kingdom of heaven one day so think about being definitely being content the parable of the vineyard is very important and i and i challenge you to read it because these these men were jealous and so that's what not being content is you're jealous you want someone else that's why that's why the bible talks about not coveting thy neighbor not coveting someone else's wife, not coveting because because God knows that we can get in a place in our spirit to where we we get jealous and we want more than what he what is provided for us. Because just think about it. It could, could be worse. You could have less than you have now and you still gonna complain or you can have more than what you have now. You still gonna complain because somebody else is going to have more. So you need to be content at what God has given you. All right. Praise the Lord. Have a good one.